hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to make payouts from one paypal account to another paypal account in hp.net core so what we have here is a hp.net core web application and what we are trying to do is we are trying to make the payouts from paypal account using paypal api now payout means by transferring some funds from one uh, paypal account to another paypal account so the funds transfer is called the payouts so we will see how we can do that so first of all what we have to do is we have to install the another packages paypal and system.configuration.configuration manager so once you have done installing these two uh, packages what you have to do is you have to take one uh, file one class file you can take and you can name it as paypal configuration so this file is basically that will help us generate the api context for paypal um, we will provide you the code so don't worry about the code we will just uh, understand the requirements for now so here it is passing the mode which is basically coming from the controller and that is defined in the app setting file so in the app setting file we are passing the mode sandbox you can change that to live and the credentials also you can change to production one or the sandbox one so currently we are using the sandbox credentials so in the controller you will see that uh, we are accessing the values from the app setting the key and secret and mode now we are passing that to the uh, get api context method in the paypal configuration um, class so here this is the method that will be called and we are passing the mode from the parameters so now the main part about this is we have to take one object here for the payout now here you will find many type of api so if you put a dot you will see address or you can also see uh, pay pay payment so lots of type of uh, apis are available so we are currently going to use payout api because we want to learn about the payout so this method is which we will call from the button or somewhere so this is the action that will be hit first here we will uh, access the values from the app setting and then we will generate the api context now we will create one new payout so basically that will be the transfer that you want to make so the payout item uh, here you will have to add few details that uh, is required for transferring funds so the most important one is the amount here so you have to pass the currency and value here and then the thing is receiver okay so now receiver is basically it can be any kind of account id or phone number or email now how paypal will know that it is uh, what kind what kind of id it is so we have to pass that in the uh, recipient type if we say uh, if we put a dot here you will see that you have three options here email paypal id and form so currently we are using the email id so basically this account have a, a paypal account so we are using that email okay so now sender item id can be any random unique number so we are generating a new gid here okay so now uh, once you create a payout you will also have to uh, create the send batch header here and in that also we will uh, add the recipient type uh, whatever you want to choose and then we will select email type equal to test and the sender batch id can be random now this is really important for uh, making a payout because without it it will throw the error so you have to add these details also and then we can create or execute the uh, api contact to make a payout okay so now we will add a breakpoint here and now we will just run the application to see how it is gonna um, work so how it will work like suppose you enter some email that is not registered on paypal and you try to fund transfer fund on that then a uh, paypal will provide a link uh, which will be used for creating a paypal account for that email if the person goes and creates a paypal account then uh, he will receive the money and uh, if he doesn't create the paypal account then your money will be like lost so it is really important to use the details that actually have paypal account so i will click on pay now and here it is coming so 
uh, we are getting the mode and uh, the client ID and the client secret now we are generating the uh, api context here so now see we have created a new payout here and you will see the details in the items uh, we have the detail that we have just added and now we are adding the send batch header and now we are creating the uh, payout request so now in the response you will go to batch header uh, here you will see the batch status is pending so now uh, what this means is that uh, uh, the payment has been started from your account but it will be completed once the other person accepts the payment okay so it it is basically like the other person has to accept the payment and then he, the funds will transfer uh, actually so um, basically it is done from your end now it is pending at the user end and uh, also it will be pending if the uh, user doesn't uh, create a PayPal account for the email okay but if uh, the detail you have entered is a valid PayPal account then it will uh, transfer instantly so uh, that will work fine so you can try that on real PayPal accounts and then let us know if uh, you face any kind of issue okay so about uh, from where will you get the code is you can go to our official website i will also provide you a direct link so don't worry about that so this is our official website codenight.com and here if you go down and here you will notice paypal using uh, payout using paypal payment gateway you can click on the blog and there you will see the code that i have just showed you uh, in the video so uh, you can also download the attachment so if you have any kind of issue then you can comment on the video so thanks for watching guys